Hey everyone! Hey my sweet and beautiful cupcakes! Um, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make these cookie stencils. I love these so much and I use them so often. I think that they're really handy and it's just an awesome tip that I wanted to show you guys if you don't have a certain cookie cutter. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, follow me on Instagram, and let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and draw on a regular piece of pe uh, printing paper or even some cardstock if you want your st stencil to be a little bit thicker and stiffer. You want to go ahead and draw out your shape or your design. You do want to be aware of how intricate it is um, because you are going to be cutting these by hand. So. A lot of really detailed outlines may not be suitable for this, uh, but just keep an eye out for that. So once you do that, you want to cut out your stencil and then you want to wrap it in some packing tape. I usually just do one layer of packing tape on both sides so that it is nice and sealed, but you can do more layers if you wanted to. Um, I did want to say that, like I mentioned, you are going to be using this to cut out your cookie dough by hand. So I wouldn't suggest making, like if you have a ton of cookies that you have to make, you may want to invest in a metal or plastic cookie cutter. This um, is just to make a few cookies, but that is just something that I wanted to mention. If you do want to make a ton of cookies with this, um, and you don't mind the tedious work of cutting each cookie by hand, then that is completely up to you. Um, this is really great if you are looking for a cookie cutter that you don't have, or if last minute you need a specific type of cookie cutter, um, stencils are really good for that. So, once you cover your paper stencil in this packing tape, you wanna go ahead, and I just use a pen to make sure that that packing tape um, really seals in that paper stencil. So, you may be a little bit confused on why I have two different types of stencils. Um, I am making a number three in flames because um, this was for a Hot Wheels party, but I thought that this was perfect to show you guys. So, this single three is actually going to be my stencil for the cookie when it is already baked and it's going to be a guide for me when I'm piping on the royal frosting. So for this one, I go ahead and cut it out and I don't mind um, if I cut out completely and really close to the paper stencil because I want this to be as true to the actual stencil as I possibly can. But for the actual stencil that I'm going to be using for my cookie dough when I cut it out, I'm going to go ahead and leave a little border of that packing tape so that it is resistant to water or oil or butter um, so that nothing can get through to the paper so that you can use this over and over again. And even sometimes, um, if you do a really good job at this and no water or anything seeps through, you can actually use these over and over again. You just wipe them down with a clean cloth or with um, some water um, and some soap. Just clean them out and you can actually store them uh, to use for a later time. So that is it. If you want to see these cookies being put or these cookie stencils being put to use, then please um, click on here. You can click here when the video is available, but um, the actual video in real time is going to be available later on this week. So I hope that this was interesting. If you have any questions, then please leave a comment down below and I will answer that. Um, but yes, I hope that this was helpful. This is really helpful to me. Like I said, uh, when I don't have a cookie cutter that I need, um, I can just make stencils and it's perfect. So yes, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Remember to like, 
comment and subscribe and follow me on all my social medias and I love you. <laughs> Bye.